I'm sitting down with the cast of Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Connie Britton, Molly Shannon, and three newcomers that you're not going to want to miss. Olivia Cook, Thomas Mann, and RJ Kyler. Connie Britton, this is exciting for a variety of reasons. She's in the movie Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Yes. I was there, standing you know? ovation. It was Aww. phenomenal. I mean, I, I hadn't seen the movie, so I, I was really blown away. It's just, I think the movie's incredible, and I love the filmmaker and the screenwriter so much. I just am beaming with pride. But when you see a script like this, yeah. what makes you want to do it? I saw a little blurb of an article that said that Alfonso was directing a movie, and Alfonso and I had worked together in American Horror Story, and mm -hmm. I adored him. So I emailed him, and I said, I hear you're doing a movie. I would like a part in it if there is one. <laughs> That's literally yeah. what happened. Molly Shannon, how did you get to be involved in it? Well, this is such a funny story. Alfonso was at Twirl, this yogurt store in our neighborhood. And he came up to me, and I was like, this guy's so sweet. So that was our first introduction, mm -hmm. and then I got sent the script. I was, of course, just thrilled. I feel so lucky to be in the movie. You play the dying girl's mom. Exactly. Olivia Cook. she's phenomenal. She is phenomenal. She makes me laugh from my gut. She's so funny. Olivia, you play a teenager with leukemia. You're just at the heart and soul of this whole film, and the chemistry is great with you and RJ and Thomas. Was it always that when from the second you guys met each other? Yeah, well me and Thomas, well we had our first kind of audition together. It just would have been so much more awkward and not as um, organic if we had, had had not met each other. And then that we hit it off instantly. And then RJ came along and it just felt very complete. Yeah. And it was just so platonic. And I think Alfonso has, has spoke about if these relationships were anything more than platonic, like a bit sexual mm -hmm. in any way, it just would have been the complete a uh, wrong type of movie. I mean, obviously you just met each other when you started working together, or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we met at the chemistry read. Do you, either of you have a favorite scene or something that, that a memory, a, a moment? Well, my, my favorite, you know, particular moment of the movie um, was the fight scene or altercation scene between me and, uh, me and Greg, oh, because yeah. it was just like, um, it was a lot of emotion that I usually don't use, that was used in this scene. You know, RJ, like, during the fight scene, had this take where he just couldn't stop, like... Crying. He couldn't stop crying, <laughs> and it was, like, so amazing. Like, we like we couldn't shoot the scene because he just couldn't keep it together. And, like, I had days like that, and I know Olivia did, too. And um, it was just a really profound emotional experience. Well, congratulations. I'm happy I got to meet you guys. Oh, it was such a so great much for experience. It doesn't always happen that way.